win against Tulsa, please. And Tulsa, you expect as you hit the road Friday to visit uh, USF, please. Yeah, uh, we're very fortunate to have a win last last week against Tulsa, too. I thought uh, uh, a very good football game, uh, and uh, I thought it was the best offense we played all year long. And Tulsa, a very good quarterback, good receivers, had a good running game. And uh, it was a scoring battle, and we were fortunate to outscore them. Uh, I thought the two defenses on both sides struggled a little bit. And uh, as you would, and as most teams do against these spread offenses now. But uh, fortunately for us, we were able to come on top. Now this week we play another wide-open offense in, in South Florida. who probably had one bigger wins uh, in our conference this year of beating Temple. Uh, very well coached. Uh, they've got a good offense and a good defense, probably one of the most well-rounded teams in our league. So uh, going to be a tough chore for us going down there, uh, playing on a Friday night game, short turnaround. But uh, looking forward to it as, uh, as we go to camp. Any questions for Coach Tuberville, please? It's star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Tom Groshen. Yeah, hi, hey. Coach. Hey, uh, Thomas. How are you? Good. Listen, you guys, uh, you still, with your three losses in the league, you still have a chance to win your division uh, mathematically. Now, what would that mean to you, and, and how are you guys playing at this point also, would you say? Um a close loss and then a, and then a win. So if you could just uh, speak to those, thanks. Well, just looking at our league, I think we're playing just as good as anybody else. I think it's so. I think you got to be lucky with injuries. We've been beat up a little bit on defense. Hopefully, we get some of the guys back. We had one of our our best tackler or one of our best tacklers uh, thrown out of the game last week in the first drive on a targeting call that hurt our defense. But uh, I like our offense. I like our running game. Uh, we don't make a lot of things happen in kicking game. Hopefully, we have something good happen to us in the next two next two games that we have. Uh, but you know, we got a good team. Uh, we got as good a team as we had last year. But this this conference is better. Uh, you know, we went into the, the season uh, won't have uh, have a chance at the end to to uh, possibly win the conference as we did last year. But we've been our own worst enemy. We 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 can't control our destiny. So the only thing we want to do is go out and and try to play well these next two games, and hopefully something good will happen to us. But uh, uh, you know, we when you when you've already lost a few games, it uh, kind of takes a damper off of it a little bit. But it is what it is. Do you have any uh, injury reports you could share, such as? Johnny Holton and some of the defensive guys you lost uh, the other night during the game? Yeah, most of them are in pretty good shape. Johnny is, uh, we're, we're trying to get him to a point where he's ready to go. He's he's probably about 80, 85 percent. We played him against Houston that way and made one good play and then he strained it a little bit. It's just his hamstring. And, uh, but uh, he wants to play. He thinks he can play. Uh, we'll see how he practices this week. He said he's going to practice today because uh, he knows he's running out of games. And uh, hopefully we can get him a few reps. But uh, uh, he's he, he's getting a lot better. I've watched him run full stride uh, really at the end of last week. That we just didn't want to take a chance. Going down into the warmer weather this week might help him uh, get a little bit looser down in Tampa. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he plays. Other guys are just you know they're just nicks and bruises and sprains and all those things that uh, happen this time of year. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And next, we'll go to Joey Johnson with Tampa Tribune. Uh, yes, Tommy, obviously you're, you're catching USF at a time when they're as hot as they've been in, in a long time. Um, and Coach Taggart's been building this thing, trying to trying to sell it and tell them they were close. And obviously they've, they've, they've done great the last month. Sometimes is it just that ingredient of confidence or belief once it kicks in that, that a team can really hit its stride? Have, have you experienced that? <laughs> what's, happened, what's happened with them? Well, he got much better. He he inherited a mess, and uh, he's cleaned it up, and and he's done it his way. He's made a few changes. He tweaked his offense and got an athletic quarterback back there now that can make plays. But uh, he's recruited very well. We recruit against him quite a bit in the state of Florida. Willie's a good football coach, and uh, uh, you know I'm, I'm excited that uh, you know for him that uh, 
he's he's starting to get it all straightened out. But uh, as you said, they're playing well. They're playing as good as anybody in our league, and we played almost everybody other than East Carolina. So. Uh, uh, there's not a touchdown difference between most of the teams in our league. It's been very competitive this year. Uh, he's won some and lost some, and uh, as the rest of us have, except for Houston. And Houston's been able to find that, that right combination uh, this year. Uh, so, uh, you know, it should be a good game between us. Last time we went down there and played, uh, it was our first conference game, my first conference game here at Cincinnati, and they beat us all over the field. So uh, hopefully we we give them a better game this time because uh, they've got a much better team than they've had the last few years and getting better. Thanks. Any other questions for Coach Tumbleville, please? Start one on your telephone, if so. Coach, we'll thank you for your time today. We look forward to hearing from you again next Monday.